welcome to hopefully another fucking quick video. These are coming around very quickly. They're very like, oh George, what's going on? You're uploading more of this. What's going on with you? Let me do my thing, man. Um, I've had a few people message me in regards to George. What are your body? What's your biggest tips for beginners or what are your mistakes and stuff like that? I get all those kind of questions all the time. So I thought I've never really created a video like this where I just go through my mistakes, what I should have done when I started training, what I recommend you doing. So I thought, fuck it. Why not? Let's make a fucking video. So if you don't care, if you really watching that now and think, I don't give a shit, George. Turn off. I don't give a shit. If you care, have a little listen and uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you can like the video, subscribe and all that kind of good stuff, then please do. I, I would appreciate that. And also let me know down below what your mistakes are and what you would like to do next time if you ever done it again, man, you know. Stop, George. Stop fucking doing that, you dickhead. A little bit of a background story about me when I first started training. I was really skinny. Standard kind of. Oh, man, I want to go to the fucking gym on the weekend, man, and just train arms. Probably why my arms are overdeveloped compared to the rest of my fucking body. But yeah, I used to be quite skinny. I'll probably put a picture on the screen already. Nothing special. Weren't a genetic freak. Weren't rip. Weren't uh, anything crazy. Just play football on the weekends and just, yeah, went to the gym. Well, try going to the gym and train arms every Saturday or Sunday or whatever. But yeah, that, that that's me. Uh, that was my starting point. Nothing fucking special, like I said. Um, and I just keep repeating myself. It's, why do I keep repeating myself? But yeah, that, that that's me if anyone cares. So I brought my little uh, whiteboard out and I wrote a few things down, which I'm going to go through and I can just read it. Sometimes I forget and all that kind of bollock. But number one, number one thing which I should have done. Well, these are no order, but number one is just focus on like my form. Uh, focus on like doing the compound movements so, like my deadlift, my bench press, my uh, my squat and focus on what actually builds density, what will actually build you some big fucking dense tissue. And that's not tricep press downs, that's not cable flyers, that's not going to build you a dense chest. And I used to follow like the pro bodybuilders, I've said this in my last other video if you haven't watched it, have a little look on my opinions on following the pros. I used to follow the pros and um, yeah, just it just, yeah, simple, that's all I have to say about it, it just wasn't work, it just wouldn't work and in reality like following oh Jeremy Wadia's six week program man or Sadiq's fucking big chest plan man to get fucking whammo it's just not it's just it's just a load of bollocks so please don't follow the pros I've said this in the last video don't follow your idols um, find out what works best for you focus on your execution like I said this was the main bit of it focus on your execution don't be just going in the gym just fucking throwing a weight about because you'll just get injured and you just look a bit of a twat uh, focus on executing the movement correctly do your research on how to actually perform the exercise before actually doing it just because you've seen matey boy do it or someone some twat doing it doesn't mean it's right if you know what I mean actually look up on how to perform the exercise correctly so that's my number one thing just don't follow the fucking pros and the shitty programs they give you find what works for you um, and focus on executing that very very well learn execute movements just spot on that is number one okay number two yes number fucking two i need to stop swearing and stuff like that but you know it's just me it's just how i am number two is quite a surprising one is don't track everything now i track i was that dickhead that tracked it everything and now when you start tracking like for example when you start tracking your food you can't eat a pizza without knowing what the fucking calorie or what how many carbs and fats and proteins has got in it i can't sit down and just enjoy food anymore without knowing what's in it and if i see oh it's got more fat than i was expecting i'm like oh fuck it now i should i shouldn't have done that i should have just you know just ate if i wanted a pizza i just fucking should have ate a pizza if i wanted burger king kfc mcdonald's five guys i should have ate it now i'm in a stage where right i'm logbooking my sessions within the gym and i'm thinking shit it. Oh, I'm not I'm not performing very well today. Like I'm not hitting the 38 kilo dumbbell press or whatever at the time. Fuck, 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 fuck. It'll just ruin my session. It'll ruin my mindset. Um, weighing my scale, like weighing myself every day. That pissed me off as well because I'd weigh myself and think, fuck, I'm a pound heavier. What should I do? What should I do? Oh my god, oh my god. Ruin my day. Um, and again, we're tracking food. I can't look at food the same anymore. Um, and I know so many of you will probably relate. You can't look at food the same any fucking more as well. Um, you can't eat a pizza or KFC. You can't eat it without knowing, having to look up a my fitness power what the fucking calories are in that shit you can't enjoy your food and this tapers into uh, number three which is enjoy training have fun and experiment like enjoy training with your friends i was so so serious like i was 16 17 so serious i'm not i'm doing this i'm not going to go off plan today i'm not going to train with you because you train differently with me different to what i do i should say i'm I did enjoy like my training if you know what I meant. And you need to remember that you are like 16, 17 or whenever you start, you have so many years ahead of you. Like at 16, you thinking that you're gonna be a pro, you've got years of lifting ahead of you. So just fucking enjoy like going to the gym with your mates and just have a bit of a piss about in the gym. Obviously you train really hard, don't get me wrong, you fucking train hard, but just enjoy it, man. Don't don't be all so like, no, I can't follow that training plan because you're on a different training plan to me. Just enjoy it, man. Um, that's one thing I should have done instead of just being right 
focus no no i'm not doing that i'm not doing that because it left me in a situation where for example i was at uni and i was fucking lonely like a motherfucker sitting in my room fucking bawling my eyes out because i had no friends and stuff like that very lonely and i should have learned to just enjoy training experiment with different things like for example i should have tried matey boy who does a, a typical bro split i should have done that but i was like no i'm on my push pull legs i can't do that you know what i mean sort of like that but worst thing that's one thing i should have done have fun experiment and uh, enjoy training a lot more when i was younger obviously when it get a little bit older i take it much more serious because uh, you kind of find out when you're older that right this could be a potential career for me but just enjoy the fucking moment man that's what i'm trying to say number four well number three or four is uh research improve your knowledge that's one thing i didn't do um i just kind of relates to like the first bit is just follow the pros follow what they do but in reality i didn't really know much about science until i went to uni i didn't read any journals don't get me wrong i don't always follow journals i, I think they're a load of bollocks sometimes but in regards to nutrition um, I'm a lot more knowledgeable doing just doing research following people that have like uh, degrees PhDs masters within this stuff listening to podcasts all that kind of good shit and just educate myself now every morning when I'm doing my work on my laptop I'll listen to a podcast like for example through like sleep nutrition diet and just contest prep and I'll just learn and learn and learn and I can implement that into my own coaching my own kind of journey if you want to call it that and just yeah um, that's one thing I should do and I want, one thing I really want you guys to take from my videos and stuff like that is learn to educate yourself learn to look at what others are doing as well as like the pros and stuff like that but look look into more research of, uh, regarding things that's one thing I, I i wish i i did a lot more instead of just going right just because this pro body build does it that means i can do it and in reality that's a load of fucking bollocks okay number four or five fat knows what it is is bulking versus cutting I was in a situation where I was like, right, do I bulk, do I cut, do I bulk, do I cut, do I bulk, do I cut, what the fuck do I do, like I'm going absolute skits over it, but in reality, if you're a skinny little boy like me, if you're a fat shit, bulking, you really think you're going to do that, like literally, use your fucking brain, are you going to eat in a surplus even when you're like 45% body fat, that's just fucking stupid, you know what I mean, like you're not going to do that, but if you're a skinny little fucker, like myself when I first started, and you thought, right, what do I do, do I bulk or cut, just get yourself in a surplus, we know that we build uh, tissue we build uh, muscle same thing dickhead in a surplus we're not although you might see improvements in a the deficit they're not going to be as great uh, within a surplus so stop fucking sitting around and thinking right should i go in a cut now i've been i've been bulking for three weeks i should go in a cut get yourself in a surplus if you're fat as fuck get yourself into a deficit simple as that too many people just waste their time fucking pissing about deciding what they should do but those are my five four or five things i've gone through i've it's coming up on my battery battery's low so i need to kind of end this video but thank you for watching this video hopefully you've kind of enjoyed it hopefully you gain a few little tips um and stuff like that you can implement into your own little journey uh, let me know what your mistakes are and what you should have learned when you first started thank you for all your support make sure you check out the road to the 2019 bodybuilding stage thank you for all the support on that and just in general we need it at 9 000 subscribers which is pretty insane all the best guys um keep your nut in the game fucking make sure you work hard train hard keep consistent it will pay off and uh, yeah i'll see you in the next one